Hey everyone, welcome back to IG Revision. In this video, I'll guide you through the entire process of studying medicine in Italy, also known as MBBS in other non-European countries. Medicine in Italy is divided into six years and it is a single cycle master's course, meaning that once you finish the degree, you will be getting a master's degree instead of a normal bachelor's degree in many other countries. Now, the reason that most people choose medicine in Italy is because how cheap it is. The government also provides different types of scholarships, which I will talk about later in this video as well. But let's dive into the process. The process is divided into six steps. The first step is pre-enrollment. You will do pre-enrollment at the start of February, March or April. Pre-enrollment is only for non-Europeans. So if you're European, then you can skip this. I won't talk a lot about pre-enrollment because I've done an entire video talking about this topic. But in a nutshell, if you're from a non-European country, then you have to enroll on the Universe Italy website and choose a university. Now, the university that you will choose in this pre-enrollment will be the university that you will give your IMAT for. And when choosing university, you are only allowed to pick one. So this is where you have to think carefully and decide before finaling your university. Now in pre-enrollment, you'll also submit all of your educational documents like your diploma and your final high school result, as well as your IELTS if you have that, and your passport, your photo, and you'll also state the embassy that you will apply your visa in. Now, once pre-enrollment is done, you'll receive a summary. Now, this summary will be sent to your university. And once it is verified by your university, this will then be sent to the embassy where you will apply your visa in. And the pre-enrollment summary is forwarded to the embassy at around July or August. Now, next comes the visa appointment. This is only for countries where getting visa is really difficult, like Pakistan, India, and Turkey. Now here you have to apply for a visa appointment. And this can only be done if the embassy has received your pre-enrollment application, or you have a valid pre-enrollment summary that you can show. This is usually done by calling the embassy that you chose in pre-enrollment and asking them for a visa appointment. And remember that even if you clear the IMAT and do everything right, your visa is the most important thing at the end of the day. I know a lot of students that didn't clear the IMAT but weren't able to go and study in Italy because the embassy didn't work on their visa. So you have to make an appointment really early during, usually right after you have sent the pre-enrollment summary to the university. This can happen in around March, April, or May. Once you've made the appointment, then comes the scholarship. There are several regions in Italy and each region has its own scholarship department. For example, in Napoli, there's the scholarship called Edisu RC. Now, each scholarship has a different procedure depending on the region. And you have to make a document called the ISSC which is basically a document that declares all of your assets and your family income. Now, this can be done once you've reached Italy, but you have to apply for the scholarship before. And when you're applying for the scholarship, you don't have to send the ISSC directly. Now, the scholarship usually opens in around June, July or August. The scholarship amount will depend on your family income, your total assets and the ISSC document. But in general, you can expect to receive around maximum of 7,000 euros and you can also get a meal card as well as a free bus card which you can use to travel and eat two times a day for free. There is also a possibility of getting accommodation but that will be deducted from your scholarship amount. So you will get your accommodation after getting the scholarship amount deducted. So you've applied for the scholarship and it's almost time for the IMAT registration. IMAT registration usually opens in late August or early September and it lasts for around two to three weeks. In this time frame, you have to 
go to the university website and register yourself for the IMAT exam. Keep a close eye on the IMAT registration because if you're from countries like Saudi Arabia, Dubai, Pakistan, Italy or India, then the seats for the IMAT registration fills up really quick. If you do everything right, then hopefully your name will come up on the IMAT list. After that, the IMAT exam comes. This is usually done in late September or last year in 2023, the exam was taken in October. If everything goes right and you clear the IMAT, then your name will come up on the list of successfully passed IMAT candidates. This is a list that is released by each university and this comes after around a month of giving the IMAT exam. So you can expect to get the results of the list at around October or November if it was last year. Now, the next step is to directly apply at the university portal. Each university will send you an email and ask you for the documents as well as a semester fees. For Napoli, the semester fees was around 500 euros. Once the university has verified your documents and you've sent the semester fees, your university will send you an admission letter. And this admission letter will act as a proof of enrollment when you're applying for your visa. This is also the part where you will have to apply for DOV or CMIA. Now, in most countries where you apply visa, they will also apply for your DOV at the same time. But there is an easier process called the CMIA, which is a much more expensive, but much more easier process. Where CMIA is an organization that automatically verifies your documents when you send them through digital mail. You don't have to go to the embassy for DOV if you apply for CMIA. Universities know how difficult this is, so they're really lenient on getting the DOV and CMA on time. So you can expect them to give you around two to three months to get the CMA. Finally, once you've gotten the admission letter, go to your embassy if you've made an appointment. Make sure you make an appointment of around this same time. So around the time that your IMAT results come and then you get your admission letter. So at the end of October or early November, this is the time where you go to the embassy, show them the admission letter and any other documents they ask, and then you get your passport stamped. Next, you fly to your dream country and live your life to the fullest.